Hello and welcome to another e-tutorial. Uh, this one covers how to do a partial correlation using SPSS. Um, as with all the others, what you can do is, if you want to do this alongside what I'm saying, is pause the thing now and copy down the data in front of you. Uh, we've got three columns. This is, this is based on a made-up experiment to do with how uh, people's ability to chat each other up relates to their politeness and attractiveness. What an exciting experiment. Okay, so how do we do it? What we do is we go to analyze and we go to correlate and because we're doing partial correlation we just go off and then click partial. So what we want to do is we want to uh, correlate chat ups with politeness whilst in this example at the same time controlling for attractiveness. This basically then means that the whole business of how attractive someone is is then taken out of the equation and then that gives us a raw comparison between chat ups and politeness. Okay, so let me just press OK, nice and simple. This then gives us our correlation matrix. So, as with the um, bivariate correlation example that I have in mind on my other tutorial videos, you'll notice that you've got chat ups versus chat ups, politeness versus politeness in this kind of matrix format. These diagonals are always going to be ones and that sort of thing. You don't need to worry about those. The main thing here is politeness versus chat ups correlation is positive and it's a value of 0.67 so it's quite you know moderate and then whether or not it's significant that tells you here so two-tailed significant is 0 0.048 and as that is less than the critical value of 0 0.05 that tells you that the correlation is actually significant now important thing to notice here is that this actually gives you degrees of freedom for this uh, correlation coefficient unlike when you do a simple bivariate correlation which only gives you the number of people involved Okay, so that's just something to watch out for. And if you want to know what the effect size is, or PR squared, all you need to do is go off and square this value here, 0.67, which when you square it will uh, give you a score of 0.44. Okay, now of course, when you do things like that, because we've got these uh, three columns, chat ups, politeness and attractiveness, there's a number of different ways you can split it. So we split it one way, controlling for attractiveness, but you know, uh, what you might want to do is play around with it, controlling politeness versus chat ups and attractiveness and so on, just to make sure you've got the hang of it. Okay, and see what is significant and what it all means.